Hey everyone, it's Quicken, and today I wanted to do a video challenge that was put out to everybody by Nikki Tutorials, and it is The Power of Makeup, where I will be putting makeup on just one half of my face to reveal the differences and how makeup can be applauded and how it can bring beauty to yourself, and I think that there's been a lot of stigma against women who wear, or anyone who wears makeup, that makeup is fake and that it's not feminine and it's a feminist movement to take off your makeup and that without makeup you are supposed to have inner beauty and for me i love makeup and i love how makeup makes me feel i feel like i can transform and makeup is my hobby and i love collecting makeup so today i'm going to recreate this look and show how makeup changes me and I'm really excited to do it. I think that this is like such a powerful thing. So I'm really excited. First, I'm going to be using primer on my face. And I like using primer. I I wear my makeup like for a long time and I need my makeup to work well for me. And stay on all day. Especially as someone who works in the beauty industry, I feel like it's very important to me, for me, to have like flawless makeup and be representative of what makeup can do. So now I'm just using foundation and this is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I'm someone who has a lot of freckles on my skin and a lot of scarring and I like having the option to conceal and I can wear a BB cream if I want to have my freckles out or I can wear a more full coverage foundation like this. And you can see my freckles still come through, but not as much. And already I feel more mature and more, I don't know, take it more seriously. <laughs> so I'm just using concealer to conceal my dark spots. And some days they're worse than others, but this is just a part of my routine. I also add a line down my nose and I kind of bring some light into my forehead and I always conceal my chin because I have pretty bad hormonal acne. Um, my birth control makes me a monster. And I blend everything in with a beauty blender. I feel like it makes the process go by a lot faster. And I'm still a beginner at makeup, so I feel like the beauty blender is a little more foolproof. Because I don't know what every brush does. So I at least know what this does. Sometimes I don't know what's a freckle and what's a, a pimple. And because of my nose piercings, I have to, I kind of take the sponge and push it in and kind of like really get it in there. Different faces help kind of get that in. And then I'm just setting with a powder. I like this because my foundation is, it says pro matte, but a little powder doesn't help any, hurt anybody. And this just helps the longevity of my makeup. Like I said, sometimes I'm in my makeup for 12 hours. And I'll kind of dust it in my hairline sometimes too. Really set. Help conceal fine lines. It confuses people when I have freckles and crow's feet. 
How old is she? I got a comment earlier that was like, I don't know how old you are, but if you're younger than 16, blah 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, 16. Nailed it. Well, 16 coming up. I always like double powder my chin. And my forehead. After that, I usually contour because I have a big round basketball face. So even though I'm not really good at contouring yet, I feel like it adds some sort of character to my face that isn't really there. Um, for this video, I'm using my um, Marsala palette. And in here, I'm just going to be using this darkest shade for my contour. And I chose to use this especially for this video because this palette was limited edition and I remember the day it came out everyone was hanging out at John's friend's house and he invited me over and I didn't go because I was waiting for the release of the Marsala palette and I know John still makes fun of me like, is that Marsala? Is that worth it? But it was, and I I waited for so long for the perfect color, and here it was. And that's just makeup. It's one of my passions. And yeah, my screen name isn't Makeup Junkie, and yeah, all that stuff. But I still love makeup, and I love what it does for me. So now I've used this darkest sheet and I'm gonna blend that out. Just soften that line, make it a lot more wearable. I'm still trying to figure out blending. I'm really not good at it yet. I'm just gonna take some of this middle color here. And then this little palette has a highlight. I'm gonna use this same brush. Kind of pick up some of that highlight there. Go over the top of my cheeks. I feel like this just kind of helped me. Like I said, not have such a big basketball face. Plus I love blush and I love highlighter. I just love the idea of like that rosy finish. And it kind of like goes back to high school. I remember there was one day where um, I think they took the mile run out of my high school and we used to do this endurance test where they would play a record and it would beep and you would run to one side of the gym and it would beep and you had to run back and it was last man standing and I remember there was one year where I was the last girl. I felt so happy and accomplished because not a lot of other girls, you know, a couple girls dropped out like the third beep and they were like, dumb and I totally agree way dumb but but I remember I lasted over 71 beeps and the rest of the day my face was glowing and obviously it was because I had just done a really stupid endurance test that really equates to nothing and has nothing to do with my character in the least but I remember the glow that I had all day and people were stopping me and they were like, what, what, did something change? Like, do you have a boyfriend? No. I just ran 71 on the beep test. I, I still think about how I was glowing. So blush every day when I can wear a little blush and give myself a little glow. Just reminds me. So my one, my left eyebrow, is a lot shorter than my right. So I like to just give it a little bit of a tail and make them equal. Oh, I picked 
up a little too much product here, but. And I've been doing my eyebrows since I was a kid. I have a, a young mom, so a lot of my beauty rituals I learned really early on. And when I was in high school, I used to be upset because I always wondered why I wasn't just like girl A with ponytail and field hockey sweatshirt. I, I, had, to, I had to look a certain way and now I just know it's because my mom and I were growing up together. And I think that that's really cool. And my grandma always had uh, Avon books, which is like home order makeup. And my grandma would always let my mom and I pick from the Avon book. And it was like having an older sister, which was great because I was always so envious of my friends who had an older sister. And then it took me a little bit of growing up to realize I always had one. And our beauty rituals really brought us together. And whenever I go home and see my parents, beauty brings my mom and I together. And I can always bring her like a little lipstick or a little something from my Ipsy that like I really didn't feel. But yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I would never want someone to tell me that makeup doesn't bring people together and that it's not required and that a man prefers me with less makeup. Because if a man prefers me with less makeup, it's... I don't prefer a man. I don't know. I prefer a man who doesn't have a preference over me. So now that we're crying, I I always like to kind of jazz up my brows with brow gel. I like to spike up the front here and bring these hairs and kind of create a squared front. And I do this because both of my brows do not match in the front. So if I can create that straight line with the first brow hair and bring these all together and kind of stick them up forward, it will help make, like bridge that gap between, oh, I don't have makeup on the side. So it makes this eyebrow look like the other one. And I'll like stick up these hairs a little bit over here to make this eyebrow look more natural. Because I feel like if someone can see a couple of these like misplaced hairs, they might think that that's my entire whole eyebrow and not pomade. Oh, is that a misplaced hair? That's her whole eyebrow. She's cleared. Because I don't know when this whole new trend came of people calling out girls for having fake eyebrows too. Can I live? It's just a little bit of eyelid primer. I do not normally wear eyeshadow every day but I wanted this makeup look to be really glam. So we're just putting this on here. I've actually never even dipped into this guy before. This is from my Ipsy bag. This is something I want to give my mom. Sorry, I cried a little bit. <laughs> Gotta clear that up. Woo! I chose this Too Faced palette because this is the first, not this exact one, but this is the first palette I ever bought and like researched and went and tried out. And when you used to buy them, they used to have a little drawer that came with a makeup brush. And I just had so many good feelings about this and like what it gave me. And it was my first time buying like high-end makeup and being like, wow, $35. And since then I've repurchased it and I just, I really like it. So 
I thought I would include it in this look. I kind of went for like all my all my makeup that gives me feelings. So I'm I hope this look all comes together. And I wish I could just take every girl who messages me and says, hey, my boyfriend doesn't let me wear makeup or my boyfriend doesn't, I can never wear that much makeup. I wish I could just take those girls or guys and whoever and take them out to eat and we could totally glam up just them and there, there's just something so great about being able to transform yourself. Now, I feel like I have really big circle eyes that complement my big round face. So I like to do very minimal on my lower lash. And I usually don't put mascara on my lower lash. Just blend your life away. I do not normally wear eyeliner every day, but when I was younger and we were figuring out makeup, we would go to CVS and buy NYC liquid liner. I wish I had some, but this is Kat Von D. And we would do these long punk cat eyes with the leopard print. And it was a token of being punk and being female and having makeup on. And you didn't have to be good at it. <laughs> so I'm using black mascara. My everyday look is usually brown. But I want to be glam. Being young and punk, like helped me figure out so much about makeup. I used to wear this like eyeshadow that was like as thick as paint and you'd have to pat it on your eye. And I never owned a makeup brush. I didn't have my first makeup brush until I was like 18. Everything was fingers. And I used to wear this thick yellow eyeshadow and paint my brute print over it. And then I'm just gonna touch up my shadow a little bit. Now that we have our wing on. I'm gonna do my lips. And lipstick has become such a big staple for me. Which is great because... My, um... My bottom lip is so much bigger than my top. I I can just draw my upper lip on. And then just fill the rest in with lipstick. So the lipstick I chose is the Marsala lipstick by Sephora. And again, I just have really good feelings about the Marsala lipstick. I looked for a color like this for so long and I'm so happy that I have it. I barely ever use it. And then, because my grandma taught me this, I always go back over it with a lip brush. And just smooth any edges. And one blend for the road.
and this is the power of makeup. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support. I was so excited to do this video. I was brought to tears when I watched Nikki Tutorial's video because it's something I feel so close about. Please let me know if someone has ever told you that, oh, you look so pretty without makeup and, oh, you don't have to wear that much makeup. Oh, it's all about inner beauty because there are so many things that bring us together through makeup and I wouldn't want any of those taken away, and I wouldn't want anyone to tell me, especially someone who doesn't understand. And I love my skin, I feel the most comfortable in it, I love every freckle, especially that one, but I, I would never wanna go without makeup. And it's not because I don't love myself, because it's so true that every year I become more comfortable in my own skin, but I love beauty, I love the beauty industry, and I love it bringing us all together because I love being my best self. But I also love changing things up and defining my cheeks and fixing my eyebrow. And I have every memory with my mom and I growing up and every memory with my grandma and coming together as women and I would never want to lose any of that. So this is my video for the power of makeup. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. It's going to be a great week as always. I love you guys and you inspire me the most. Thank you for encouraging me to make this video. I feel so happy and yeah, bye. I only have an hour to edit before school. Or am I really going to bed? <gasps> no, school. I can't. I have to go to school.